Hi all, welcome to BA Careers. Business Analysis for Beginners. Hope all are doing well. In this video let us observe what is the role of business analyst in testing and types of testing. 1. Business analyst role in testing 2. Why testing team is required. 3. Types of testing let us try to understand what is business analyst role in testing. My intention of putting testing knowledge here is to make business analyst aspirants to know about testing not intended for developers and testers. As a business analyst it is important to know how testing is done and how testers perform in real life scenarios. Let's see now how and what a tester will do in real time projects. First let us understand why testing team is needed in software company or software project or why team needs to test the software application or product. Testing will not applicable only for software product or application. Testing is applicable everywhere in our day to day life also. For example, before buying clothes we will test whether these clothes will suit to us or not. Another example, before buying two-wheeler or four-wheeler we will test the vehicle whether it will suit to us or not and all the functionalities are working or not. Similarly testing team will test the software product application before releasing to client or market. Without proper testing we will not find quality product. If testing not done properly then software will have so many problems or issues. It leads to project failure because no one will accept application with issues or problems. So testing is very important during the project execution. In testing, there are two major types of black box testing B, white box testing, black box testing. Let me put in simple words. Black box testing deals mainly with the functionality testing. Here we test if X is input. Are we getting Y as output? White box testing. Here also tester will test if X is input. Y is the output or not but this type of testing deals with technical things. How program logic is written. Based on the code is the input and output are proper or not. How input is interacting with backend database and how results are fetched. In simple words you can see. Black box testing needs functional knowledge and white box needs technical knowledge. As you know, business analyst will do business requirements gathering and prepare SRS, FSD, FRS and share the documents with development and testing team. Testers will read the SRS, FSD, FRS and if any doubts are there then they will ask business analyst for clarifications. Then business analyst will clarify all the doubts and arrange meetings if needed. After all the clarifications are made is first step. Testing lead will create high level test scenarios. In the test scenario it will be mentioned what to be tested. What all modules are to be tested and what all are the high level expected results. Testers will write test cases which will be based on the SRS, FSD, FRS document provided by business analyst. Test cases will be written in detail for each field and each function. For entire application and including all the modules, test cases will be written. Usually MS Excel will be used to write test cases. Once test cases are ready then a senior tester or any of the other testers will review the test cases. Once developers code the functionality build will be passed to testing team. What is build? Build is the terminology used. Build means developed code. Build will be tested in phase wise and accordingly to test plan prepared by testing team leader. Testing will be done based on the test cases written. Usually it is called test case execution. Before testing team start testing there are some tests. Before build is passed to testers there are some testing done. Yes. Developers themselves do a round of testing before passing build to testing team. We call it as un testing. Developers will write unit test cases and execute unit test cases. After unit testing is done. There is one more testing called BVT build verification testing. This testing is done by developers or testers or deployment engineer. The main purpose of this test is to ensure the build is stable or not. Note. There will be different servers like development or lab server. Test server. Production server. When build is deployed in different server all the path and connections need to be changed and build should be ensured working. If not working testers will not be able to test build. Also if any major bugs what is bug. It is terminology again. Bug means mistake or error testing team will reject the build form testing. 
After BVT is done, testers will start testing the builders per test cases written. Any bugs found will be logged into central repository. There are some tools specifically for testing team which will act as repository and as well as tracking purpose. Any bugs can be logged into tool and assigned to development team. An email will be triggered to developer on that bug. Developer will check and if it is a bug he will fix that bug. If not bug developer will write his comments for that bug and close the bugs. When testers log bugs and it will be fixed by developers. Again it will be tested. The fixed functionality will be tested. This is called patch testing. Usually any patch or fixes done by developers will have impact on different functionality. So again from start application need to be tested. This type of testing is called regression testing. The other testing types are smoke testing. This is a sort of high level testing done on all the major functionality to ensure all the main parts of software are working. This does not do in-depth testing minute level. Sanity testing. This is to ensure all parts of software are working but this testing focuses on minute level of functionality. Integration testing. Software will be developed in phases or modules. Each module developed will be tested separately and at the end all the modules will be clubbed and tested. This is called integration testing. System testing. This is to ensure entire software is working properly. In this test not only testers but business analysts, consultants and other people will test. This is something like preparatory exam before main exam. After system testing is done build will be deployed for UAT. UAT. User acceptance testing. This is done by clients. Beta testing. This is done by both client and testing team or business analyst. Once UAT is passed an application is deployed for usability for some period application will be on beta. Now let's see bug classification. Blocker bugs, major bugs, critical bugs, normal bugs, trivial bugs, defect or bug life cycle blocker bugs are those which blocks testers from further testing. Say for example if application is having login function and after login testers are supposed test some functions but if they are not able to login. I. A. Some problem in development with respect to login function we call it is blocker bug. Other important bugs which are critical will be categorized into major and critical. Some small bugs like not accepting numbers. Telephone number is accepting alphabets are considered as normal and trivial bugs. Once bugs are raised testers will pass it to developers. Once developers fix those bugs it will be passed back to testers for verification of fixed bugs. If again there is some problem with fixed bugs testers will pass it back to developers. This cycle repeats and once bug is fixed. Testers will verify and close the bugs. There are some open source tools like Boo. Gzilla which are used to keep track of bug status. I opened. Closed. Verified ETC. Also there are two more types of bugs called invalid bugs and duplicate bugs. If testers raise some bugs which have no problems then developers will mark it as invalid bugs. If same bugs are repeated then developers will mark it as duplicate bugs. Note again. This article is for business analysts and not for testers because for testers testing document need to be in depth. This is just for understanding car or testing cycle business analyst involves in testing phase. So it is good to have knowledge on testing. Depends on the organization business analyst participates in all the phases of SDLC except development. It does not mean that business analyst will not participate in development phase. Business analyst explains the requirements to development team if team needs more clarity on the requirements. I hope this video helped you to understand what business analyst role in testing is. If I miss out anything please mention in comments. So that it helps us to cover in coming videos. You can click on the link below to get more articles. Happy learning. All the best. If you like this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.